you haven't already seen the title, this video is going to be about your season of rejection. Do you feel like at this period in your life or have you ever felt like there was a period in your life where nothing was going right? All the doors seemed to be closing. All your hard work seemed not to be paying off. Everything just seemed to be going wrong and awry. And if that's something that you have or are going through, then this video is for you. That's what I'm making it for. I'm making this video to not only share my story, but to tell you what I learned and to help you get through it too. Give you some tips and tricks on maybe what you can do to make this period in your life easy. Because it's not easy. It's not easy when it seems like your whole world is falling apart. But I want to tell you your new life is going to cost you your old one so that means that all the loose strings have to fall apart all the goals that don't align with the new you they have to go away and that comes with pain that comes with loss loss a lot of the times people think is always physical but it doesn't have to be physical there can be a mental loss such as a goal you know i'm gonna start by explaining like kind of what happened to me so for me <laughs> yeah 2023 was not good to me babes 2023 was a bad year the only good Thing that came out of it was graduating but all the major things that i wanted that year it was a dub all them doors closed um you know i wanted to go to medical school mm, babes we're not there i had a relationship going on it fell apart drastically and i ended up being in this period of isolation and loneliness i was a student athlete in my senior year i pulled my hamstring the whole season gone i had so many dreams of how i would end my senior year but because of my injury babes i couldn't even <laughs> i placed but it wasn't where i wanted to be so it's like all these things in my life and all these goals and dreams that i had they just all fell apart and it led me to be in a very sad state it led me to feel like nothing was going to change when you're in that season it's very hard to see outside of it it's very hard to see outside the storm but the storm does end the sun does have to rise again and brighter days will come with that year because that happened to me like starting in january i pulled my hamstring then um a really big goal that i had i got rejected from and like april then um then my relationship fell apart in may and then the rest of the year was me basically getting rejected from every single medical school i applied for um it was a really bad year <laughs> it was a really bad year man but i'm here to tell you that in your season of rejection there are lessons to be learned the number one thing about your season of rejection is it's happening to you because there's a lesson that you're supposed to learn there's something in your life that needs to be fixed and all other nice soft measures have not worked they have not shook you enough to change you to move you to switch your direction so now i believe in the lord so if you don't hire power or whatever the lord is like okay well, you're not taking these hints baby i'm just gonna have to i'm gonna just have to hit you with it i'm just gonna have to let all of these things happen to you so you can really sit with it you know so the number one thing that i learned is that you can't do all things at once okay y'all i've always been an overachiever i've always been a busy body but you gotta realize when you start having these big goals they're gonna take up a lot of your time they're gonna eat your time you can't do it all and that's okay it's okay, but don't run yourself into the ground trying to do everything because it's not going to help you. It's going to hinder you. A lot of the things that didn't happen for me, it was because I was trying to focus on that along with some other big goal and they didn't go together. They just don't. They're going to take up your time and if not, they're going to clash. So definitely realize that you can have a lot of big dreams and you should. Life is long, but just know that some goals are going to encompass you and you have to allow them to do that. And you have to be able to prioritize. You have to know what to put aside to allow for this dream to flourish. It's not saying that this dream is going to go away, but for right now, it has to be on the back burner. And I didn't know how to do that. I thought that I could be all things at all times. I thought that I could keep the furnace burning at all ends. You can't do that. I can't do that. You know, we all have different limitations. So don't sit here and think like, oh, well, I can't do this and this. You just need to know your limitations. Know where you need to draw the line. Really evaluate how much energy this goal that you want is going to take and make sure that you're giving it that. Feel me? Feel me? Next thing that I learned is to be still. Now, this was a lesson that I kind of learned towards the end of my season of rejection when things started to fall into place a little bit is that there's going to become a period in your life where you're going to throw everything into the furnace. You're going to throw everything that you have at it 
but you're not gonna get an immediate reaction it's not gonna be oh i did it boom here's the, the fruit of my labor some things take time so in that moment you just need to be calm you need to lean on the lord you need to be confident in what you've done and if you're not confident in what you've done then you haven't done enough that means that you didn't put your all into it but once you put your all into it and you've given it everything that you can what are you anxious for baby let it go it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen but you being anxious and you staying up all night and you not eating and you being irritable da -da -da, it's not gonna help so really just learn to be still learn how to enjoy the small things learn how to go outside and sit and that just be a joyous moment without your brain going a thousand different places and it's harder said than done that don't mean don't do nothing that just means don't overdo it you know at some point you just have to you just have to believe in it like so the next thing i learned is you need to learn how to enjoy the in between when you're going through the season of rejection there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna go wrong a lot of tears a lot of sadness but even in those saddest days there's some type of beauty and i learned how to appreciate the good while the bad was going all on all around me because at the end of the day we have one life this day that we have today we'll never have this day again so to let yourself sulk and sulk and sulk about something that you can't control something that you cannot change something that you cannot fix all in a day all you did was rob yourself of some joy because don't get me wrong it's sad but you can't stay there you can't let it be the only thing that you do you can't let it be the only thing that encompasses you on with those lessons that i learned i also learned some things that of course i had sad to say it's probably won't be the only season of my life where i'm rejected from a lot of things and a lot of the goals and stuff that i want don't turn out the way that i want to but i've learned some things that i feel like i'll be able to put in my toolbox for the next time and number one thing that i learned is there's always a purpose to your pain kind of crazy right because pain is pain pain hurts but what people fail to realize about pain is there's a good in pain pain physical pain allows you to be aware of things that are hurting you so that you can get away from them it shows you what's in danger it shows you what needs to be fixed so even with all that hurt there's something good about pain so when you're going through this moment in your life really sit with yourself and be like so what's the lesson that i can learn for example right when everything fell apart for me with track right and i couldn't i couldn't run <laughs> i couldn't jump i couldn't do those things i had let track become my entire life i had let it encompass my entire personality what else was i outside of that i didn't know I had no idea when you ask me what i am first thing i would say i'm a student athlete and it's good that's a good thing but that's not all sides of me but i didn't know what other sides there were <laughs> so it's like in losing my sport for that season and being forced to put my spikes down earlier than i was supposed to i was able to have the time to navigate who i was in a space where i had the support because you know when you're in your 20s you're alone you living in your apartment alone you go to work alone you might work with people if you actually go in a place but if not you work from home and what are you alone unless you're on the phone when you are a full adult you are alone a lot of the times and there's a lot of growth that comes with that but sometimes you do need a support system and i needed that while i was trying to figure out who i was outside of my sport and i had my friends to help me do that so the purpose of my pain was to figure out who i was really sit with yourself and try and figure out what am i supposed to learn from this and number two thing that helped me get through it is to fill it when the thing that i was telling you i got rejected from in like april or whatever like april may um i had wanted that for a really long time and i kind of just balled it up because i had stuff to do put it to the side but it eventually came back to me months later that pain was still there that pain still hadn't been tapped into and it caused for my healing process to not only be longer but it allowed it caused for my emotions to be a lot harder to understand and to work through versus if i had just faced it at the time if i had just let myself feel what i needed to feel now i know there's days where you're just gonna have to get through the day and you can't you can't cry you can't cry all day because you gotta go to work you can't cry all day
day because you gotta go you know get your get your child or stuff like that but remember to allow yourself to feel emotions because you're human and if you don't they're gonna come back up they're gonna surface in another way if you're not allowing yourself a healthy outlet so feel them but don't stay there too long <laughs> like Medea said don't stay there too long allow yourself the space but you can't stay there forever and then once you've gotten through that me creating an action plan like that was something that I learned to do and it helps because it helps you to figure out what you can control and what you can't control because you can't control everything and when you focus on the things that you can't control life just spirals around you even if you don't want it to because you realize that there you thinking there's nothing that you can hold on to you can't for example you cannot control how other people are going to react you can't change the outside world you can't change that there's traffic today you can't change like you you can't change the the people at your job you can get a new job but you can't change those things like you can't change what happened to you you can't change your past so you have to hold on to the things that you can and when you do that it centers you okay yeah i can't change that my coworkers at work are always negative but i can start to distance myself from them so that i don't have to feel that negativity you have to just focus on the things that you control because if you continue to focus on the things that you can't baby i'm telling you it's gonna be a long spiral and another thing is like when you're going through it and you can't get to your goals immediately learn to appreciate the other things in your life spend time with your family spend time with yourself learn yourself read a book get a hobby At the end of the day if you allow yourself to focus on the good things that are happening around you even in even in a storm that feels so bad it will make that cross easier to bear if you carry nothing else from this video just remember that this is temporary and you will get through it but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions or anything that you just want to talk to me about you can always dm me on my instagram or follow me on TikTok and DM me there. Or leave me a comment if it's something less personal to talk about. But just know, I'm always here. It's your girl JT on the 2, JT on the track. And I'll see y'all next time.